What's up, people on YouTube? This is Blade Assault. We'll be streaming this for a little bit right now. It's a brand new roguelike that's out. It's published by Neowitz. And um, I was just telling chat that it's a lot like uh, split between Skull and Neon Abyss. Of course, I covered this on my main channel. So those of you who saw that are also, uh, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, dude, you just literally repeated yourself. This stream is, the segment of the stream, by the way, is sponsored by NeoWiz. I agreed to do a YouTube video and a Twitch stream. I think you guys are really going to like it. Good night, Molo. Let's jump into this thing. I'll show you what's up. I think actually is controller. Yeah, I'm going to use a controller here for this. Let's do this thing. So mods, if you use exclamation point sponsor, it should uh, activate a nightbot command that gives you a link to this game. If you guys are interested, that'll be posted in the chat every now and again. Or ask the mods to say that. There we go. This stream is sponsored by Neowiz. Visit Blade Assault Steam page here. So click on that if and when you are interested. Let's do this thing. Okay, uh, somebody check that link. Make sure that works, by the way. Click on that. Uh, they gave it uh, to me, but things uh, sometimes go awry. Sometimes they give me a faulty link. Sometimes I copy and paste incorrectly. It works. Awesome. Let's do this thing. So here's what's going on. We have this whole base camp here. I don't know what all these people are. Jenny Play. It says Play. I click Up. I mean, I can play. It probably is a playable character. I could probably switch to Jenny, maybe. But it's not working, so I don't know how that works. Manage friendship levels. Give a cube to the resistance to create new comrades or receive additional aid. Was Jenny in here? Commission fee. So these guys are like, you just like, uh, you don't have to give them as much money. Discount rate. Weapons modifying list. Okay, I don't really know exactly what this all does. Let's just pick one. Zim will rule six months. Loving the game. Can't wait to see more. Three months for Butt Baby. So action adventure or action roguelite, it's called. We have uh, starting weapons. I I do have enough money to unlock this one. Let's do it. Okay, it's a gun. Cool. Okay. I'm excited to see the upgrades on this thing. We have a dash. I believe the dash gives us eye frames. God, what's our Y move? I need to get energy before I use a lot of these things. So, there's something, it's kind of like Elysium, you guys, uh, where there's like a class of super rich people that are flying in the sky city or something like that. And um, there's a bunch of poor people who live on the planet that's infested with a bunch of like zombie dudes. And we're trying to make our way back up to the Sky City and uh, enact our revenge on the leader. Uh, you know, cool stuff. Brand new game, yes. Called Blade Assault. All right, let's do this. We just go through. Difficulty steps up, kind of risk of rain style. If you'll notice in the top right. Very interesting. Let's check out what my ability is. Why? Seem like maybe I uh, shot backwards and dropped some grenades in the ground. I also have an R move. I don't know what my right trigger move is going to do. So I, to finish each different uh, level or floor or whatever you want to call it, we have to activate these ports. But it seems like we shoot, 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 and then we get like this piercing shot at the end of it. Interesting. I'm taking damage though. This is very interesting to learn how to use this. Okay, so we, we did all the waves there. Now we get to take our core or our prize. It's not always a core, but this is a frost core, which will allow us to upgrade our dash or our gun. Let's see here. This dash upgrade, dash upgrade, and this is a frost arrow one. Some random zealot four months, who four months was watching on YouTube. And remember, it was Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Weird but nice asymmetric view. 
Can you guys hear it okay? Is the sound loud enough? All right, what are this? What, what are these? Drop six ice shards along your path as you dash. Enemies hit are inflicted with chill. Dash upgrade, uh, cold dash. Cause an icy explosion at the end of your dash. And then frost arrow recharges one frost arrow every second. When three frost arrows are charged, the arrows will fly at enemies. I think it just automatically just sends arrows in. Which one, chat? One, two, or three? Ice shard, cold dash, or frost arrow? Three votes, one. One vote, three. Four votes, one. One to three. One, three. One, three. I see more votes for Ice Shard than anything, though. I bought bits just so I can do this at squats. This toxic child. Thanks for the bits. Now I'm getting a lot of threes. I still think I'm getting more ones. Six Ice Shards um, when I dash. Cool. Now I can go backwards, too. Now that I, I don't have to worry about the difficulty meter going up anymore. We can break the environmental stuff to get these red crystals. And the red crystals I use to buy this, which is like more items. Increase main weapon at a skill attack, which is my Y move, that one. By a crit rate by 3%. Main weapon normal attack crit rate by 3%. Or sub weapon crit rate. Sub rep weapon is a R, that one. Let's do our main weapon normal attack crit. Just on our normal gun. This one. Because we fire so many bullets. Crit rate would be good, I think. To Baker time, eight months. But you've helped me through a lot. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Every time someone votes, Twitch ticks for me. Squat, are you doing a vote thing? Were you actually, like, voting? Polling people? Um, let's see here. I can go for more health. This, is like, gives me a chance to heal myself, or get max health, or a little bit of both. Or we can go for an electric core. For, like, weapon upgrades. Let's go electric core here. It's pretty fast-paced. It's a very punishing, fast-paced game. So we want to fly. We want to just like go. It's one of those games. It's kind of like Skull where you just got to be able to feel it. If you can't feel the rhythm, if you can't just get into it, you're not going to do well. It's scary down there. Activate this as soon as I possibly can. These guys with shields, they don't get staggered. They don't get stun locked until their shields are gone. We're going to have to do some little fancy footwork here to kite them around until we can get their shields off. And then we can just let them have it. Some of these guys have guns. You'll see that they're ranged. The lizards up top, they're always ranged. Hello, Huts. What's up, chat? Electric core time. All right. Number one, voltage boost. Increase crit damage by 20%. We're going to go for a crit build. That'd be pretty good. Electric weapon. It's a heroic. That's why it's red. Main weapon core adds electric energy to weapon and increases weapon attack. When enemies are hit, strikes them with chain lightning. Or conductive weapon increased crit of all attacks. So plus 4.5% crit rate. I think chain lightning with the gun could be pretty cool. More crowd control, right? The fact that we're shooting out, it's kind of like when we're playing Hades, right? When you have a build where your your uh, attack rate is so fast, or you have like a like the gun, for example, in Hades. The more times you hit them, the more chain lightning you get. But crit to be super strong. Maybe we want to go back and try to get more electric cores because that might just be the build. Oh, speaking of the devil, we have a, um, another chance to get an electric core right now. Buy all these. Increase main weapon normal attack crit rate. 
from level one to level two. So it was 3%. This bumps up to four, I think. Um, crit rate of my skill, once again, and sub weapon crit rate by 15%. Isn't this the same ones that we just saw? It's weird that we saw the same ones. That's never happened on this game for me. Yeah, don't forget, sponsored by Neo Wiz. If you guys are super interested in this game, then uh, go check the link out. That's in the chat. It'll be posted in the chat quite frequently. If you want to know the link when it's not posted in the chat, then uh, ask the mods to do so. Let's do it. Full send. Can you stun lock in this game, though? You can, yes. You'll notice that I'm stun locking most of the enemies. See all this chain lightning? It's hard to, it's hard to see, but... You'll notice that, like, pretty much everyone's flinching. And the chain lightning, I believe, is stun locking. Was I, like, reloading or something? I don't know what happened there. Oh, that guy teleports. Okay. Oh. Sometimes they turn into this, like, purple ghost, and they still attack you. I don't know what that is. If it's, like, you kill a champion. Hamburger! And a champion has a chance to turn into a ghost, or if it's some special thing. No idea. Another electric core. What do you got? Taking damage causes an electric explosion. Enemies hit by the blast have a chance to be shocked. Hyper core thunderbolt storm. Jump into the air and create a thunderstorm for 1.5 seconds. The storm will randomly strike enemies with lightning. You will deal damage when landing a shock enemy. When landing and shock enemies that are hit. Okay. Voltage module. Energy is charged once per second. Energy is uh, bottom left. I'm using the energy to use my move where I shoot backwards and fire those like weird things out and then also when I use that like hand attack which for me right now is Y and right trigger I think or no Y and yes right trigger is correct two sounds cool but three probs best jump in the air and create a thunderstorm every time I jump in the air I don't know Cookie Smasher, thanks for the six months. I appreciate that. But you better watch out. The Baker time just showed up behind you. So it's like the Cookie Smasher versus the Baker. You're going to be smashing the Baker's cookies. It's not going to like that. He, she, they. Shark bait, brouhaha, eight months. Look at me go. Was thinking it was like an active item, but maybe it's every time. Well, it doesn't say it's an active item, right? It doesn't tell me it's going to take a RB slot or LB slot. Doesn't it say cooldown on two? 1.5 seconds. Not sure it's the best. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. It did. It did put it on my RB. That's a lot. That was a lot. When a fire core appears, increases the chance of epic or higher grade appearing at 10%. Or increase main weapon's normal attack by 15%. Reduce sub-weapon energy consumption. Once again, sub-weapon is my R hand fire. Um, what's up? Are we gonna get a... No, we, get, we gotta go to like this like break area. So we can't see if there's like a fire core coming up. I'm gonna say weapon hilt. Attack damage, 15%. Holy moly. Alright. Giving it up at the Hotel California. So this guy sells food. We wanted to buy food. Um, we haven't unlocked our friendship for him to offer me better food. This one's 50 health and 10% movement speed. I'm going to save my money, though. There's a guy that shows up in a car that gives me really good upgrades. This guy, I could give him... 
I think it's 300 monies to have him decrease. The risk level is one. Oh, it's only one. He won't do it right now. That's what he was trying to say. But I can give him a bunch of money and he takes my risk level from whatever number it's at. It moves it back one. Which honestly would be a really cool thing to see in, in uh, Risk of Rain. So this guy takes me to the next level, but he also has really good upgrades. What do you got? Reduces damage taken by 0.5% of max HP. Only a max of 30% is applied. Reduces skill cooldowns by 40%. Or increases crit rate of all attacks by 3%. I, I say we go crit. Magic sword. It wasn't the legendary hourglass, but... 40%, it does sound pretty crazy, but we're not really using... I guess maybe the lightning storm we could have used a lot more. Whatever. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I think I made a, a good call. We're going to be critting like crazy here, and I think crits might actually be the way to kill like some bosses. These guys are tricky. The poison gas left behind by their attacks. I walked right into it, I think. I think that's how I took damage. That guy, the ninja dude, just cranked through me there. I think I have to, like, reload every now and again. Lightning! Okay. I'm a fan of that. Once again, the guys that have shields don't get stun locked. I'm, I'm taking hits. I'm not even sure what that last hit was. I'm gonna go heavy on the electric core here. We need health, bad. Crit rate by a certain amount per 10% of charge energy. Increase crit rate 0.7%. I'm using my charge pretty quickly, but we were sitting there at 120. When dashing shoots out a chain lightning, um, we would replace our icicle fall, though. You can see, like, the little symbol up there. And this one, once again, it's another dash upgrade. When dashing, strike the area behind you with a thunderbolt has a chance to inflict shock. Probably go with the crit rate. So we don't replace our icicles, which are totally fine. There's a little number next to the main attack button. Oh, bullets. I see it. 48. I got it. Until I have to reload. You're right. I've never used this weapon before, so... Max HP increased by 10%. By the way, did we say, change the uh, game we were playing on, on Twitch? We did. Good job. Good job, team. Max HP, increased weapon damage by 20% for each space between you and the enemy, a telescope. I'm assuming that means, like, the further away... Oh, shit. I was gonna say, the further away we are, the more damage we would do. So we, we could do potentially 20% more damage, but this says increase, increase crit damage of all attacks by 20%. If we're gonna go crit, then we gotta go ice pick. But this one seems perfect for the gun. Shoot. Sucks that we had to choose there. Fifty percent health, by the way. Um, I didn't know. I didn't even know what hit me half the time. So, I'm gonna go for health in this one. Rip that electric core. I think maybe that like. There's like a, when the number shows up, there's like this almost explosion little like looking symbol on the number. 
that might indicate the me doing a crit shot and we're getting a lot of them but I think this is working out quite well We'd be doing it though. And I'm not gonna waste time. Enemies remaining where? Oh, you dog. Oh, you dog. I'm not gonna waste time opening up chests when we could do that later without increasing the difficulty meter. Wow. Watch me do. I'd be pulling a, a decent do right now. Got a hamburger. Seems like the health drop does not give you very much health back. All right, activate this. Increase max HP and MP. Instantly recovers HP or increase max HP. I'm gonna instantly recover probably. Would make more sense to me. That guy can upgrade my weapon. I'm gonna talk to him in a bit. We have 128, what I think are roses right down there underneath the crystals. I don't know if they're called something special. What do you got? Telescope again. Also, energy in weapons is charged every five seconds. Charged weapons deal 240 damage. Increase weapon damage by 20% for each space between you and the enemy. Or charge a weapon with energy every five seconds and stun enemies in a set area when you attack with a charged weapon. By the way, some of these weapons, if you hold the fire button, it charges it up. That is not something that I've been using. Telescope, you think? Lightning rod sounds good. We're going electric build, but we'll go telescope. Sniper boy. Who fits your build? What do you guys think so far? Mark. Enemies hit by the skill are marked. Marked enemies receive 5% additional damage from all attacks. So this is like level one, level two, level three. Like we can step that up. I'm into this full game. You're not charging. True. Increase the number of projectiles fired by the skill by one. Okay. Uh, piercing shot. Normal attacks pierce through one enemy for each enemy. The attack pierce through increases damage by uh, piercing. Like 100%. Super 100% piercing shot. Multi-shot. So when I use my skill, like it seems like 10 things pop out. If that increased to 11, it's whatever. If it, if it like 10 counted as one projectile and it increases 20 shots out, then maybe. And this is also the, that same skill that would mark them. But I got to go piercing. Seems pretty good. Level 2 additionally pierces through one more enemy, but that takes another 150 roses, and I don't have that. One's for boss, three for crowd. Well, we might die before we get to the boss, so... Frost core. That's all the choices that we have. I believe it's the boss after this. We just hit three difficulty. So if I'm correct in thinking that it's the boss, we're going to want to open up these chests. That was the skill right there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Telescope level two, weapon health level two. Telescope level two. I'm going to get all the stuff.
boss time. Hey there. My name's Mac. He's got a gun. He drops grenades too. He moves to an area. He reloads, and then he sh he moves to a new area. Shoots, reloads, rinse, repeat. And they just popped me one there though. So sometimes he does do a little unpredictable stuff. Like, I suppose the further away we are from him, the more damage we're going to do, and I should take that into consideration. These barrels, too. You shoot them, they explode. Almost got me there. Oh, come on. That one, that one pop. Got him. You're dead. Dude, we crushed it. We did a really good job. And we got an electric core, baby. Rejected Battletoad character. It was very Battletoadsy, wasn't it? Can you not shoot upwards? No, it's not like uh, Neon Abyss where you can aim where you shoot. You can only shoot across. To my knowledge, unless I'm dumb. Thunderstorm, level two. I mean, it was pretty good. 120 damage to Thunderstorm to, to 180. Electric vengeance taking damage causes an electric explosion. Um, increase electric weapon skill attack. Increase electric weapon skill attack 15%. Skill or skill blows. Number two, what do you think? Better Thunderbolt Storm explode when I take damage. Electric Vengeance might save my life, to be honest, because I think I'm going to end up taking a lot of damage on this next level. I don't know any of the enemy attack patterns and stuff. So it might actually save me. And it's also rare, so... We can feel better about getting a rare Electric Vengeance instead of a normal one. I think it's going to be smart. So now we go to this new halfway zone where we can buy a bunch of stuff if we want to. We can get weapon hilt level 2. Increase main weapon normal attack by 20%. I think it's 15% right now. This lady will heal us if we want that, but we're actually doing pretty okay. This guy will give us more weapon upgrades for the price of our roses. Piercing? I think I might go piercing level 2. What else is there? Enemies hit by the skill become immobile for 3 seconds, and when hit within this duration, they receive 3% more damage. So, I think our skill is pretty worthless, but if it was able to freeze enemies or mark them, could be good. But I gotta stick with piercing shot. Um, what else is going on? We could hack our levels back down from 3 to 2, but I think we're doing really well. We can go 3 to 1 for 600. We could totally afford that. I don't want to buy this electric core. Level 2 electric vengeance, level 2 thunderbolt storm, or level 2 voltage charge. Crit rate by a certain amount per 10% energy charge. This is going to go from 0.7 to 1%. Let's go maybe thunderbolt storm. 390 to 580 is significant on the Vengeance. You know what? Let's hack it. Let's hack down a level and see what happens. Okay, cool. We went from 3 to 2. And I'm going to save my money. Do we get more rewards for going up in Assault level? No, I don't know that. 
I'm not sure that's a thing or not. Pikachu use Thunder Smash! Don't forget, you guys. Blade Assault, for those of you who are just joining us, it's the sponsored stream from NeoWiz. Pretty cool game. I uploaded a video of this on my main channel as well. And if you guys want to check it out, there's a link that the mods can put into the chat. Another battle toad. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this weapon with the, the items that we have with this weapon. It's pretty spicy. He does like a little like dance move when I shoot him. He's like, ooh. Where's my thing to activate? Am I dumb? Is there another enemy sitting so out there somewhere? Yes. Oh god, he shot me right in the head. I got shot in the face again. Pikachu, you thunder smash! Venusaur, attack with whatever you feel like. Wait, what? I mean, Venusaur. Ah, oh, get out of there. He just punched you in the neck because he was shielded. Any of the ones that like turn bright red when they're attacking too cannot be stun locked, I believe. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go health here on this one. We need health in the first level, yeesh. TF is Thunder Smash. Increase max HP and MP. Increase max HP and recover health. Yes. Regen. Was there a regen on the third option? I don't even read it. All you feed me is puffins. I need Tauros meat. Second one. Increase weapon damage by 30% for each space. Okay, so it's telescope to level three. Cheese level one. 1% 1 chance that enemies drop 5 HP or Katana Blade dash gains an attack property and deals 30 damage. I'm Dirty Dan. Hyper Ballistic Stranger, four months. Thank you for that. Duo M, three or 10 months. Thank you. Glad I can make a stream, says Rock Can. Hell yeah. Cheese, cheese, cheese. You guys really think the cheese is good? 1% chance? All right. Well, cheese. One is not high, though. 1% chance to get 7 HP. Crit rate. Or damage by 30% for how far? I'm going to go crit rate. I'm going to go hard in the crit. Call me crazy. Third item is Katana Zero Reference. Maybe. Jeez! Chat was so right. Saved now with all this cheese. Seems so overpowered. Seal Mari, sexy tier two sub, three months, triple butt. Welcome back. Got a blast.
We need to play just like super conservatively. Super defensively. I'll get hit there. You guys can teleport here. Cheese. Just die. Another wave? You're dead. Not so bad, not so bad. That felt like it was maybe bad, but... Our health is actually looking okay. Probably because of the cheese. Increased crit rate for 10% energy. Increased crit damage. Or dash can now hit enemy... No, it's crit damage. Our damage output seems pretty okay. When used, increase crit rate to 8% for 50 seconds. I'm pretty sure on the video, I'm pretty sure they just updated this. On the video, it was increased to 50%. And now it's down to 8%. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Level 2 weapon hilts. Champion's belt, increased max HP. I mean, it still seems pretty good. And we're, we don't have anything in our LB slot. We're doing a crit build, so. I wonder if they saw, like, my video of me using that, and they're like... Uh-oh. It was supposed to be 50 seconds, not 50%. Set chance to earn one additional gem upon defeating enemies. We're pretty good on gems. Increased main weapon, normal attack, crit rate... Yes, crit rate. Hundred percent, eight crit rate all the time. Hundred percent uptime though, because I can use it every fifty seconds. Is that why? Electric. I'm addicted. I'm a dick, I'm a dick, I'm addicted to electric cores. Yeah, I can use it every 50 seconds. We're almost critting every single shot. And it feels so good. Jeez! <laughs> oh, cheese me. We've been getting so lucky with the cheese. We've been getting it more than 1%. I'll mess with the big guys. Just don't stand in front of them too, for too long and you're fine. Oh, God! That's a lot. Oh! Got him blast. Dodge that. You see that? Dodge it, baby. Uh-oh. These guys be teleporting to me. Damn, 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 damn. This is gonna take a while. Probably should have been hit there, but we weren't. 100 bits from Fallen Realm. This game looks so sick. Well, if you want to check it out, there's a link. It actually helps me out. It's like a it's like a special link, I believe. That like, when you go there, they know that you went there because you watched me. So, if you're going to look it up anyways, you might as well just click my link. Please. <laughs> I don't get like... 
any more or less from the sponsorship if you do it, but it makes me look really cool. <laughs> use my LB. I gotta use my LB more often. I froze him. See, that, that icicle dash with the freezing is it's been really helpful. God, that took forever. We're still only on level four difficulty though. It's also on sale. Yeah, what is it, 15% off right now? As like a launch bonus? How much is it, Hyper Ballistic? Fine, just for you. Thanks for the 100 bits, Fallen Realm. What's the price of the game on Steam? 1520 US, 1741 Canadian. What do we got? Um, Thunderbolt Storm upgrade. Trade to electric dash or energy is charged once per second. We're really not doing horrible on our energy. I think you charge energy automatically by doing damage. Maybe I could be wrong. I'm going to go Thunderbolt from level two to level three. Weapon upgrade. What do you got? I don't have enough to do piercing shot. Crit chance increases by 5% every time it pierces an enemies. Ah. Normal attacks are replaced with a single long-range fire attack. I don't think that I want that. I don't. I, I think that the more bullets I have, the higher pierce or higher crit rate. The higher chance I'm going to hit a crit shot. But maybe it's really good. Level 2 gives crit rate plus 20%. Fine. I'll try it. I could do this one as well. Or I could save my roses. I'm going to save. Save for piercing. We have 12 bullets now. Energy and weapons is charged every five seconds. Increase sub weapon attack or cheese. What does this look like? That's not that slow. I don't hate it. Max HP, charge thing, main weapon, normal attack. Attack. So, like, increasing my max HP by 10 might not seem like a lot, but maybe when you upgrade the thing, you can get it to, like, maybe it's, like, 10, 20, 50, 100, or something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Maybe not. Good luck, cuts. Thank you. Make sure we didn't miss anything way back. Nope. There's no weapon fall off. The crit rate or crit damage. There is a distinction between the two. We have to pay attention. Got a thousand. I should probably just save it for the dude. Maybe I could hack a level down. That wouldn't be horrible. Let's do that. 700 should be enough. I think 750 is like the top item. Reduce skill cooldown by 40%. I wonder if we can stack our hot sauce. More shots equals more crits, bro. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but here we are. We're trying it now. If it does tons of damage and it pierces, then the sniper might be the way to go. Sub weapon attack by 25. I'm just not using my R hand sub attack ever. Heated club. Weapon HP is below 30%. Damage increased by 50. When HP is below 30%. The more you hit, the hotter it gets. That description doesn't fit the actual... What the item does. I'm going to go with the hourglass. We'll be able to use our um, electric shock storm more. I've never been here before in my life. And I'm assuming there's a boss coming up pretty quick. This seems like pretty good damage, you guys. It's 
Seems oh god, I didn't even know he was down there. He hit me with that. The piercing. Still 50 seconds on my hot sauce, though. Okay, ow. Hard to hit this toad up here. Reload! You still alive? What the absolute crap, man? Purple ghost dude, you gotta watch out because they don't get stun locked either. <sighs> charging may be worth it now. Yeah, I was charging there. A bit. Cheese. Telescope. Awakening ampoule. When used, goes into a rage for seven seconds, increasing movement speed by 30% on attack speed by 30%. Cooldown 40 seconds. LB slot. I gotta stick with the crit, right? Cheese or telescope, you guys? Epic cheese? Why is it all of a sudden epic now? Right? When it's just 1% for 9. It went 5, 7, 9. Telescope, but, but cheese. It's epic because it's level 3? It was always epic? Break all the stuff. Epic cheese. I gotta let, let's balance it out here. Can I break those pipes? I mean, these pipes are broken here. You guys getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibe right now? Max HP could be good. Max energy. Max HP and MP. That one. More health or fire core. I, what if I just went health, 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 health and just tried to limp to the final boss? Might be the way to do it, because I feel like the fire core is going to ask me to replace some of the electric stuff I already have, but I don't know. There could be like a new thing that we don't have. Dead Cell's feeling a bit more congested and a lot more verticality. Health, bro. Health for cheese in space. You're getting things that have electric resist. Electric resist? I think I might go health. If we do do it phenomenally, then we'll just increase our max health. It's win-win. Bam! Cheese me. Right in my cheese hole. Oh, teleport and toad. Yeah, right. What kind of technology do you need for that?
We be doing it. Look at my health, man. Increase max MP, HP, MP, instantly recover. Let's go HP, MP. 195 max HP. Look at me. Have more health now than we started with. Increase crit rate of all attacks by 4%. Movement speed by 5. Let's go crit rate. Crazy idea. Crit rate. What do you guys think about that? I know we haven't done it much, but I'm thinking. Damage done to immobilize enemies by 10%. Uh, increased damage done to immobilized enemies. If they're shocked, stunned, root, or freeze. That's not really that good for me. Main weapon attack by 25. I wish it was a little bit more clear about when you were upgrading a thing that you already have. Like, that sounded like it just added 25% damage. Really what it was is I was upgrading my hilt from 20% to 25, I think. But it didn't say 20 to 25. It looks like we're going ice core. I do have freeze, but we're not freezing them that often. Only when I get a lucky dash through them. She's 191, we're almost max health. God dang it, that guy snuck up on me. Oh, uh, jumped into that guy's shots too. This has not been 1% cheese drop. It's been higher. The charge up, just, I don't know, it doesn't even seem like it's that worth it. But uh, am I getting a fire rate increase? When I, after I charge it? No. I think I'm just seeing that in my head. Dude, you freeze them often. IMO. What do we got? We could try one of these charge things. Sub weapon attack, I just don't like it. Charge a weapon with energy every five seconds. So, let's try to decipher what this is trying to say right now. Charge a weapon with energy every five seconds and stun enemies in a set area when you attack with a charged weapon. Applies to elites with debuff immunity as well. So, what it maybe sounds like is I have the ability to stun them, but only every five seconds. Every five seconds, your attack has AOE stun. It sounds like, I don't know if they worded that. It doesn't make sense to me. How it's written specifically. It makes it sound like I have to perfectly charge it on the five second mark or something. But I'm, I'm assuming that it's like, if I charge a weapon every five seconds or longer, I have that on it. I don't know. Thunderbolt, legendary skill. When an enemy is successfully hit with a skill, the target area is struck with a thunderbolt. We could trade out our skill. I'm not impressed with the skill that we currently have. Let's do it. What's this one? That seems like it's the same. But now they get hit with thunderbolts or something. Increase weapon attack by 30%. Increase attack, all attack of the main weapon. Increase all attack. 
increase all attack of the main weapon by 30% or increase main weapon normal attack by 30%. Is this including the electric shocks? Maybe that's probably what it means. Like normal attack is like... I don't know. Gold is way better. Is another 30, isn't it? I don't know. Both your skill and your normal attack. Is that what that meant? Oh, this looks like boss or something. This definitely looks like boss. Ratmatab. Human, have you... What did you lose that you would come all this way? Sorry, I started in the beginning. I'm not very good at English. I'm a rat after all. Um, does this give you, like, some vibes to, uh, Mad Max? To Martin Joe? Did you lose your home, your family? Regardless of whether, whatever you lost, it'll be your life that you lose this time. I don't know his attack pattern, so we're gonna be screwed, probably. Yep. Big old box is screwed. Okay, I thought I was jumping there, but sure. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. From off screen, charges me and then holds me against the wall while his grenades explode. Yep. Sweet, though. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that was coming. And I didn't know that I was just going to sit there in the in the corner and just cry my sad little eyes out until he finally let the grenades explode all the way from downtown I think he shoved one where the sun don't shine well this has been blade assault those of you on youtube there'll be a link in the description down below this is sponsored by neowiz so thank you neowiz and uh i'll see you in the next one